Let's take you through your midweek and beyond national forecast time for you, where Wednesday stays pretty quiet for the southern half of the country. The exception will be central South Florida, where there will be some showers moving on through there. Once we head north, though, we do run into the risk for some rain. Parts of the east getting up into New England. Now, of course, that could have an impact for the baseball game. World Series game one with the Red Sox and the Cards there in Boston going on in the evening. Looks like the showers should start to come to an end as we get into the uh, first part of the game. But... Chill will be in the air. It's going to be uh, temperatures in the 40s by game time. 54 for your high in Boston, but again, game time is in the uh, evening. So again, it is going to be a chilly time. Uh, get ready to wrap up there. Now, 94 showing up in Phoenix. Uh, polar opposites, upper Midwest, keeping it cold around Minneapolis, stuck at 39 degrees. Now, as we head on into your Thursday, still general unsettled weather around the Great Lakes region. It's that general flow of Cold air coming in over the lakes, that's just going to keep things showery. Where it's cold enough, there'll be some snow mixing in as well. But the rest of the nation fairly quiet, outside of a few showers that may pop up here around the four corners. 60 in Seattle, keeping it dry for your Thursday. Here we are into Friday, where we actually expand the rain chances here and extend it up into parts of Colorado. Still some of that rain mixing with some snow throughout the Great Lakes. But the heartland, looking pretty good in there in the big breadbasket of the U.S., 56 there in Kansas City with Denver right around 64 degrees. Enjoy that 64 in Denver because big temperatures, temperature changes are coming for you next week.